Hey, Annie. You know what's hey, crazy? Girl. What? We're beautiful, hilarious stand-up comedians on tour. I mean, it's it's heaven. I can't believe this happened. I love our fans. They're incredible. I meet them. I've signed so many breasts. <laughs> Me too. I have signed so many. I've signed Esther merch. I've signed breasts. I've signed Annie merch. Bring us your titties. We're bring it. We will sign whatever, <gasps> like any parts of you that you want. Um, I know I'm going to Indianapolis in March 17th to 19th, and I'm going to Philly March. Oh my 31st. god! Hey, my Philly people, go see my girl. You're gonna like it. I'm going to San Diego, Austin, Brooklyn, Chicago. Go to estheronice.com for tickets. Annie, where are you going? Okay, I'm gonna be at the Brea Improv on March 3rd. <laughs> it's one night only, so come see me. I'm gonna bring some friends. It's gonna be. Crazy, wild, and very fun. Definitely doing a meet and greet afterwards. I'll be in Richmond, Virginia at the Sandman Comedy Club. That's March 12th, 10th and 12th, 2 12th. I'm going to be in Las Vegas. I hope you can come <gasps> there with me. Las Vegas. San Francisco, back to Florida, and Dania Beach. I'll be in Burbank at Flappers. I'm doing a one nighter June 11th or June 18th as well. I can't wait for us to continue to meet our fans and it's been amazing. Just go to annieletterman.com slash shows and Esther on Ice to see our dates. I want to say something about Brandon Wardell. What? Not only was he the perfect choice to sit in because he's the oh, exact you know? DNA oh. matches me, <laughs> but he made so many good points about like Catholic upbringing. And also I had an epiphany. Brandon Wardell is the brother I've never fucked. <laughs> There's still time. Oh. He's only one of three, he's a special one. There's still time, you said? There's still time, baby. <laughs> How long's Bobby gone? <laughs> should, I show, should I show him my padded boots? When does Bobby come back? <laughs> Why is he the brother you've never fucked? He feels like a relative. Like I, I, really? I look at someone like him and I'm like, I don't need to read the fine print of his life. I know exactly what kind of boy he is. <gasps> Thank you for these, Andres. Yeah, yeah, these are delicious. I feel Thank like you. you're trying to seduce us. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. I would love more of that. That'd be great. <laughs> I have an announcement to make, and I think something is wrong with me. Are you tan? By the way? I think no. I put a lot of uh, okay. <laughs> you look. I, on. Before your announcement, I just want to say I think you look beautiful. You look today. gorgeous. We love the outfit. We haven't seen you in a while. For you to come back so hot is really could could have COVID because Jules went to a fucking college party. What? And came home with COVID. Is she in college? Jules has COVID? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Is she a college kid? She's a college kid. And she's oh been cast God. away downstairs. She's not allowed to come upstairs. Like us, usually at the house. <laughs> she gets yeah. treated like a regular yeah. guest. Yeah, <laughs> yes. exactly. I've always followed COVID protocols at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. So do you have to take care of the vicious dogs now? I do. <laughs> I do. But something happened because I've been monitoring my symptoms because I'm like, okay, I've been exposed to Jules just a little bit, right? Not too much because she went to the party when I was not there. Um, but then the last three days, like I've, I've never been hornier in my life. What? So I'm like, is this COVID? She's a, she's a co-ho. COVID, you think maybe is... A, it's a symptom of COVID to be extra horny? I think so. Is I, that on the list? I'm trying to think of how I felt when... Yeah, Annie, you had it. Tell us. I... You know what it is? You know what? When you get the test result, because I am I have a cold now and I didn't... It came back negative, my result, my test results, but... Well, you also, if you just had COVID, you couldn't have it right, right who now. Who knows? Nobody knows. <laughs> what, who told you that? Fauci? Nobody knows anything. <laughs> Nobody knows a thing. I don't remember being, I just remember getting a spray tan. Like, I remember just being like, it's weird I have a spray tan and I'm so sick right now. <laughs> There's like an extra shame when your test result comes back negative or positive. You're like, ew, I have a different type of sickness than usual. That is true because you're almost too hot to be sick, to get yes, COVID. I was like, yeah. but I have a tan. Well, that is like, I feel like literally it makes sense as like an, from an animalistic perspective because when you're tan, you appear healthy. Mm. Right. And that doesn't go align along with being sick with And COVID. I had my eyelashes. I mean, I looked amazing. <laughs> have you? <laughs> Hottest COVID victim ever. Victim. <laughs> victim. <laughs> have you ever had sex while um, with a fever? Uh-uh. No, but I've read on Reddit like that there's couples that when they're both sick, they'll have sex. And I'm like... I can't even imagine it. I'm so uncomfortable when I'm sick. Like, ha have you done that? How do you? I have. What is that so like? I, it wasn't. It was the flu, and the the your internal temperature is so hot, and his dick is so hot. So there is something kind of cool Cooling. about it. It's like okay. an ice pack. 
a yeah, penis ice pack. But it is really, um, it's not comfortable, but it is different. So I if like you're into the, different experiences. You, I like that there's like so many like crusty tissues, but you can't tell if it's snot or jizz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of jizz, I have tra I have a trash tank idea. I'm listening. Okay. And this isn't just an idea. I think that we should actually sell okay. this. I want to. I want to remind everyone: Trash Tank is our version of Shark Tank, and it's where we pitch business ideas that feel like they fit in with the theme of our of our empire of Trash Tuesday. I don't know if this will um, give us an empire, but I think it'll give us a few extra dollars. Okay. So, I think about when I have sex, and the most inconvenient thing afterwards is if he's like a a big cum blaster. <laughs> It it just and he doesn't have like the hot towel ready. I mean, if <laughs> right he does have the hot towel ready, that's weird. Um, <laughs> if he has it like rolled, like you're at a fucking Chinese restaurant. Like, no, what wait, the imagine hell? before you even but you get to the house, you don't even know that you're gonna fuck, but the hot towel is ready. It has he has one of those like warmers that they have at the spa at that the has hospital, them like just yeah. rolled up. <laughs> the like, hospital. The hospitals they have you the towel nice warmers. You go to a nice hospital. <laughs> What hospital are you going to? That that beautiful, nice, Least warm. Least surprising thing ever. Annie goes to a bad hospital. <laughs> well, in Santa Fe, our hospital used to be. We called it Saint Victims because we we're like, oh my god, that's the hospital we have to go to. <laughs> okay. Um. So I was thinking. When he doesn't have his warm towel. I've been wiped down by kitchen rags. <laughs> I've been wiped down by a fake like plant, a fake leaf from a plant, like anything in the vicinity I've been have wiped down with. banged in here? Why are we playing this episode <laughs> one? Did That's you bang in my chair? I'd be honored if she Wait, Kristen's you've had here. sex in here after the episode's <laughs> over? Or a dirty sock. You know how boys are just yeah, filthy, right? Crunchy, and yeah. I think that not all of them are very smart um, when they have cum brain. So I think we should make designated cum rags with embroidered lettering on it that says cum rag. Oh my God, Trash Tuesday cum rags okay. is the cutest thing I've ever right? heard. Okay, I am I like where this is going. Can they going. be like um, the ones that they use in the Olympics, the like squeegee ones, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. The ones that are, what are they called? For divers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, <laughs> the, the chamois. The chamois. The chamois. <laughs> I don't yes. know if I like it saying cum rag because I feel like we are more creative than A go-go go rag? I think go go, go something rag. about go-go, something about trash. Like I, I want a different kind of label, but mm -hmm. I will say, my I always use a t-shirt because it, it comes right Do you guys right have a cum rag for my nightclub? I just got on my <laughs> shirt. Okay, Annie is just dr gulping down <laughs> Dayquil. So I'm it doesn't have Pete, to have your jizz on it, Pete, Pete. But extra points that it has your jizz on it. Oh, God. He has a family, <laughs> Annie. Maybe it's wet. Well, we know how he made that family and we'd like to see it. <laughs> we'd like to see. I think that Pete, hey, well, like, I shouldn't be speculating on Pete's cum. But. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. What's setting them apart, though, from just any other towel? Are they going to be extra soft? Like, think about it. Well, look, we're three hot sluts. <laughs> what would we like to be wiped down with? Ooh, a Okay. Like microfiber, so, is, is, does silk Look, do well? I think that Annie is right. I think it has to have a chamois element because that's the most absorbent. What is chamois? A chamois is like, it's almost like plasticky. It's like a squishy material and it just really takes all of the liquid off. And it kind of puffs out. It's almost like a beauty blender. Yeah, but like you, a, yes. This, have is, you ever, this is the kind of innovation that we need right. to bring to this. To, to we got to make these fast because these people are going to steal from us. Oh, no, 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 no. I did have an idea for a name. I said I wanted to keep the name yeah. and then I thought of one. Okay. In all the comments, everyone's like, they're such pick me girls. But okay, are we the pick me girls? What if we're just the pick me pod? I like that. It's definitely intriguing to me. We're not trying to get boys to like us. But I just, just feel like we're <laughs> so opposite of pick me girls because we're literally like telling the world about our UTIs and like our molestations and like all, like it's not attractive. Do you consider the UTI equal to our molestations? As no. <laughs> <laughs> Your own body's molesting you? I can't. It's tickling you inside? <laughs> I mean, it's actually, it's very similar. I do think that my UTI was more traumatic. It's inside you... for me. It was. <laughs> for Carlos, too. <laughs> oh, I want to actually bring something up. This involves Carlos. I have a theory that Esther's tweets are actually just meant to be text to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pull up, pull up Esther's Twitter real quick? I, I'm, I, I, ha I only looked at one, but I'm pretty sure all of them have this element. Wait, you're right, because I think the last one is, does anyone know where my computer is yeah. or my laptop is? It's like these could all just go to... Directly to Carlos. That's right. Directly to Carlos. I saw you tweet at me last night. Like, oh, I just was retweeting what she said. I said, check Carlos's anus. <laughs> It's very chuggy to tweet, I think. 
It's, it's what? It's chuggy. It's What's like for chuggy old, mean? It's for old people. Yeah, chug. To yeah. tweet at all? Yeah, I think it's lame to tweet. So when I saw Esther's that, the only one that tweets well, out of this crew. I look. I'm doing it my own way. I'm saying, hey, does anyone on Twitter know where my laptop is? <laughs> There's nothing chuggy about that. You're really taking advantage of them. You're going, I really want to take your time for nothing. I really want to make sure you're I, I need all my fans. No Rudy on um, Rudy with COVID is a savage. Everyone, what do you mean? everyone in my family, Jules. So everyone in my family is like, oh my God, that was a great halftime show with Snoop, with Dr. Dre. And she's like, and like a savage, she was like, I'm sorry, but if you thought that was good, you're a chug. And if you're defending them, you're a chug. What is Fully chug? Fully chuggy. Old. Jules is, wow, Jules and Carlos are the same age. But Carlos internally. is not, but Carlos isn't. So that's the weird part. It's like, Carlos, how are you getting this intel? I learned from this girl I dated in the summer who is 25. Really? Can we meet him? I mean, her. <laughs> can what's, we have him on? I mean, her on. What's funny is I learned Chugi from her gay roommate, so it's not even really her. Was her room, gay that. roommate like just come in my room? <laughs> just get over here, Carlos. I appreciate your bald head more than her. I've heard Chugi <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah, Chugi is a very um, is that would hurt me if someone called me Chugi. I think. But really? also, should we just embrace what we are? Maybe mm. because we are past a certain age, you know. I maybe. Women I... past a certain age. Maybe that's a new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> where for the content is for the world, but yeah. I don't know. I I think about it all the time where it's like, are we just like fighting or like shouldn't we just be like enjoying the world through the eyes of the age we are? I agree. I think though, I almost think that chuggy is doesn't mean you're older. It's like it's some Chugi of the things, so it's the things around that age range that are, like to like Harry Potter is chuggy. So it's like, I don't think any of us are chuggy, right? What if I like pulled out like oh, a no. wand? I no, like, here's- Oh really, <laughs> you quibble? I don't know what the- <laughs> I, someone said- I can't read, so you're never gonna get me on books. <laughs> Someone on Twitter said, if you use um, Neutrogena makeup, wipe, w makeup wipes, you're a chug. That's me. I used one today. I have them in my on my pussy. Oh god, that's not how you. We did a to shoot last night. You had makeup on your pussy. Yeah, we did a shoot. I, was, I had a breakout, so <laughs> I had a blemish. Um. So yeah, the, apparently the halftime show is chuggy. It wow. was. Listen, the halftime show was fun because it brought it us back fun. to a time. I mean, the lip syncing was off the whole time, but we were just weren't going to say anything. I just think that uh, I don't care. I'm fine with people. Huffing, I was like up there. worried for Fifty Cent's like medical needs at the moment. His like, it looks like his airway was constricted. I'm like somebody just flipped them. Don't let him hang like that. I liked him hanging. I said <laughs> keep him hanging like that upside down the whole time. <laughs> when he flipped, I went, "Come on, you pussy, stay the whole time." <laughs> and Eminem looks so funny with his Just for Men beard. I have <laughs> it's not so watched. Hilarious. <laughs> It's colored in like my eyebrows right now. It's like, did you not get to your threader in time? What's your excuse? I think I didn't see this Super Bowl halftime show, but how could it be anything near as good as Shakira? Was that when you took a break? Because you were so into the football? Yeah. You're like, oh, the football ended, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I, yeah, I needed a rest. So you thought Shakira was the best halftime yes. show ever? Yes. Did you not? No, I thought the best of all time that really moved me was Prince. It was just oh, him Prince was amazing. in the rain. And yeah, I nothing will ever compete with that. I got very horny. I hooked up with someone at that night. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I watched that at my friend's house. I had just started taking improv class, and it was my first start in comedy in Philadelphia. And I had no friends. I took the improv class with my dad, which is so embarrassing. Wait, whoa, <laughs> that's whoa. how few friends I had. What? I moved back to Philadelphia. I was like, I want to do comedy. You're a loser. I googled. I know you you're would, a loser. Are you a little jealous? You didn't think of it first. Yes. <laughs> You're, you took No, on this is the biggest loser thing I've ever done. And she I, took swim lessons ab with her mom. Abuse me. No, my mom crashed our swim team. <laughs> my mom just joined the swim team. I was like, how did you get a, that in your size, that swim team? No, give it to me. Beat me. Beat me with it. You went to improv with your yes. I just, that's so embarrassing it's, and nerdy and weird. The whole thing. And my dad was so sexual in the class. Like, <laughs> you know how your dad would be in improv is exactly how my dad was. Like dads are like, let's just make a cum joke. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> my dad was 60 years older than everyone in the class. He was 60 years their elder. And everything was like, I got a boner. Like, come on, dad. The suggestion was eggs. <laughs> um, but we did the class I see how together. Got there. Oh, okay. I know, kind of. <laughs> but we did the class together, and then um, I had no friends, and I was literally like, "Will anyone be friends with me? I have no friends." Were you embarrassed at the time, or did you think it was funny and like that he was doing that stuff? 
Did you have a it choice? It was both. I mean, I liked him coming because I love my dad. I mean, not coming. <laughs> <son> coming. <laughs> like, mm, speak. Not that way. <laughs> Except I would be happy for him if he could still do that. That would be great. So you you liked being there with him? I did, but it was both. It was, it was both. both embarrassing. It was both. It was yeah. like fun to hang out with my dad and humiliating to be in the class with him. But then it's an improv class. Everyone's the dork. But so I became friends with this one guy. I was like, all right, I'll hang out with you. And I was like, thank you. And then he was like, my friends are having a Super Bowl party. So I went over and we were watching the halftime show. And he had said something about how his younger brother had used his computer. And when he was searching his computer the next day, his his brother, he found his brother's adult profile finder mm. or his profile on adultfinder.com or whatever. And he found all these pictures of his brother's dick he had uploaded from his computer. So the halftime show hit and I went, hey, do you want to go upstairs and show me your brother's dick? <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> and then we had a fun time. I Did think you see it? Uh, no, I just saw his dick. Oh. I saw his own dick. So and they, I'm sure they were looked the same. They're very way. similar. You brother, know? Uh, brothers, Kamala, Maybe you would know true. this. Do oh, brothers yeah, have you yeah. banged all your brothers today? <laughs> Brother fucker over here. Yes, ask me anything. I actually meant more from just like you seem like the medical wise person. Like if do if there's brothers, do, are their dicks the same? I've never fucked brothers. I've fucked my brothers, but there's I've never still fucked brothers. Time. Again, there's still time. Wait, does Brandon Wardell have a brother? <laughs> Who knows? I want to tell you guys something crazy I did. What? I, as we all knew, I lost my sunglasses. You did? So I had to rebuy them. You lost the Celine's? I lost the Celine's. When and, I and where? Them. I lost them a week ago. I bought these a week minus one day ago. I bought them immediately after because I was like, I'm not going to. Where'd you go? I got them at Bloomingdale's. And then the other day, I found <gasps> my, I found my Celine's. <gasps> So now, are we doing I don't a giveaway? Brag. Or you're just wearing double? I'll give them to Carlos, but they cost seven hundred dollars. Carlos wants them because they touched my face. <laughs> they cost. Oh, they went up in value. They've gone up in value since Carlos we've been talking about them. It. <laughs> what is it? They're four hundred and sixty-five at Bloomingdale's. Yeah. So guys, I'm wearing one k rent <laughs> on my face. Damn. I just went to Bloomingdale's and got a Balenciaga wallet. I got the Balenciaga goggles, but I had that Kim Kardashian's been wearing. But you got those? Yes, but they what make do they you look like? seasick. The ones like how this? much are they? Four hundred. Everything's four hundred. Oh, everything's around four hundred. Some are eight hundred. Okay, we. This brings me to a conversation that we need to have as your business manager, Annie. I need to teach you about something, and it's called inflation, <laughs> and we're experiencing it very heavily right now. And I'm. It's not. I hate it. Explain it. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Speaking of inflation, she just your tits happening. look great. Um, <laughs> what? I extra padded them for you guys. Today. No, maybe there is something fun we can do with the second pair. Yeah, we can do a Celine giveaway. A Celine giveaway. Oh yeah, is there a way we can like? Well, sign I thought it they were mine. Oh <laughs> no, 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 you would have to pay so much money for them. It's like crazy. oh, they went okay. That was real. Okay, that's Fuck for that. you. <laughs> yeah, we know how much. I've money never looked into a camera before. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny is that after this ends carlos is going to approach you outside and be like i'll give you 700 <laughs> <laughs> i almost bought them in new york i know he did try them on yeah it almost got that would be so I embarrassing they, do though, look good they, on you. they look good on everyone i think honestly i think i have a gift and that is finding glasses that look good on everyone i mean i can't mm. argue against you yeah but you have a face that like you're like my sister you have a face that just all all things look good on it it's okay that's including thank hats you so listen that's so sweet of you <laughs> I thank you so much for saying that. It's incorrect. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so kind. I, I want you to know I take the compliment. I love you. It is so incorrect. I My face is so wide that sunglasses go out on me like they're children's glasses all the time. Hmm. Like when I wear the clown glasses, it looks like a little funny. Not that funny. And hats, like, you, like a regular ball cap, like right here is where it starts to come out. It goes here, so it curves out like this. Hmm. But thank you. You wouldn't know a thing about wide faces, Esther. Me? Yeah, you. Oh, don't I'm have round. Them. I'm a perfect circle. My dad used to say I'm a bowling ball. <laughs> no, Why? Because he stuck all his fingers in you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughed too hard at that. Everyone in the room. Because we know it's a joke, and we don't think your dad molested you. <laughs> and that, if we all were very quiet, that's when you worry. <laughs> say something i have amazing hair 
You do. I really do. Why do you have amazing hair, Esther? Because I use Nutrafol and also because I'm Jewish, but Nutrafol helps me for real. Listen, when I turned 30 and my hormones went all out of whack, my hair started falling out of my head. It's so, so crazy because nobody tells you that this is going to happen to girls. You, you only hear about guys balding. You never hear about girls like hair thinning and stuff. And you see all these women getting older, cutting their hair short and stuff. And now I get it. But you don't like, have to if you take Nutrafol. I take it every day, as suggested. It's not an overnight fix. And I am telling you guys, I have seen a difference. My sister takes it. Mm-hmm. She was having the same problem. This stuff really works. Yeah, I've and had, I put... So, go ahead. No, go I was ahead. just going to say, I put my hair through so much. I bleach it. I'm always like... I corner out. Just kidding. <laughs> I bleach it. I put clips in and stuff. Like, I really do... I put it. I I put it to its limits, and so Nutrafol has been really good for me to kind of replenish the all of the nutrients and stuff that it needs to grow. Well, the other thing I like about it too is all the ingredients in it are actually just like good vitamins that you should be taking anyway. And I, I have Dave on it. I just ordered more for mm-hmm. him, and he. It, I do see it really making a difference in his hair because there was some thinning, and I feel like that has completely. Listen, stopped. and we don't listen. If you're going bald, you're going bald. But if we can get your hair to come back, Todd. It has been <laughs> such a treat. Todd has an Uncle Scott that I am really hoping he doesn't look like anytime soon. <laughs> Uncle Scott, I love you, but that is a rough ball Uncle pattern. Uncle Scott, we are sending you some Nutrafol. We're getting no, you Nutrafol. Before they even sponsored us, you told me about them, and I bought it because there's a women formula and a men formula. I got both, you know, because yep. of my household. And anything that's actually not a gimmick and that's healthy and vitamin-focused that will give you hair growth and make you prettier... Give it, throw Ladies, it in. We're not Sinead, in. we're not Sinead O'Connor, okay? <laughs> we're not going to be balding it up. It's like very few people can pull off the bald look. I would like to see everyone in this room in a bald cap. You guys can grow thicker and healthier hair and support our show by going to nutrifull.com slash trash to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at nutrifull.com. Annie, can you spell that? No. Kalila, can you? Spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash trash. At this point in my life, a day does not go by where I don't down six of these. I... Sorry, I'm dehydrated now that I'm a squirter. I feel like we've gotten so many people we know hooked on liquid death and it, like I don't have to feel bad about that because it's actually good for the environment to not use nasty plastic and to use a can, which you feel so classy. Did you guys see they had a Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, I did see it. It was great. And with a pregnant woman drinking it. I was so honored. I was like, that's right. <laughs> this is a cool look. To carry around a tall boy wherever I go is the look that I want for myself and as for a, the rest of my a life. an animator to a drawer, I like love the drawings that they have and everything. I just love the taste of water in a can. Call me crazy. No, I think it's really good. It's <laughs> like end. making water cool. It's like nobody wants to drink water. You never want to drink water. You're no, like, it it's makes, boring. It yeah. sucks. But it's like popping, hearing that that crack open it feels water, naughty it's awesome and it yeah, makes and plastic water. really isn't recyclable anymore and um most of the plastic that you're using eventually ends up in the landfill and so and she I- is talking about a breast implants uh-huh along with my breast implants <laughs> um you guys can get free shipping on all water which is very generous because water is expensive to ship and merch at liquiddeath.com slash trash that's liquiddeath.com slash trash or grab some at whole foods sprouts and 7-eleven i love seeing i'm seeing it popping up more and more places but honestly the most convenient way is just have it shipped to your house at liquiddeath.com slash trash just get some cases sent it's also a cute thing sometimes i'll bring it if i'm going to someone's house i'll just bring a case of it and people are like what is this i'm like it's just water and it's like a cute conversation piece it makes you look cool and hot yoga too you're like yeah it look like you're just chugging alcohol and hot yoga <laughs> um i just discovered something about myself actually no i discovered this a long time ago but i'm i'm now only brave enough to say it because it has been sort of this taboo thing for a long time you fucked your brother <laughs> that's not quite hair? as taboo as this i think nipple but hair? When it comes to queefing, we've always had that moment of like shame when it first happens. Not anymore. I think queefing feels so fucking good. It's for I've us always all. thought this. I think good. when that air rolls out of the pussy that way, when you're like ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam, it feels. It's so like good. horses trampling. 
It's like a trot. <laughs> so I've done this before, and this is a secret I've never told anybody. I ask guys to make me queef. No, you and don't. if they don't, like the pressure like your is waiters on. or like are we <laughs> out? like George and Carlos. <laughs> or? So if they have they're having sex with me from the back, they have to pull their dick all the way out, and you know you can I actually make- think that feels the best when guys pull all the way out and back in, but it's danger zone because they could cram in your asshole. Accidentally it's true. It could also bend. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, and the, yeah, it can hurt their dick. It's danger for them too, and I like that. Or when girls put your dick in danger for me. Like when girls like are on top and uh-huh. they go up too high uh-huh. and, and crash down and on half a <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't think I have my on top game that good because I can do like when my knees are when I'm like laying on you on yeah. top, but like you see the girls that are like that are bouncing like frog style. Yeah. I would need a chair like his. Todd's head would be like under here. And I'd be like, but there's no, I can't, you know what I'm talking about? I need yeah. help. Wait, getting on top is actually a very delicate. It's, it's. But like, you know what I'm talking about when you're doing yeah, like crouch? Yeah. That is like, that is like, maybe you're meant for because your hips are the Asian squat. No, my squat. Achilles are very, I, the Asian squat helps. So I can do, I can get on top any which way I'm, I'm needed. But I want to put a mini cam on. <laughs> on a man's face when a girl goes too high and is about to crash on his half cock. <laughs> it's that like is- the face, it's the same face you see of the people that pass out when they're going up on that one ride or, <laughs> where it crashes them down. They're like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I want to be present hoes. for this. <laughs> You guys are some old hoes. But I'm a pro. <laughs> you're like, old sperm hoes. You're hose. like, young girls just get face fucked. What are you guys up to? <laughs> can, you, can you guys please try? Just ask. Ask to be queefed. Ask to what? ask for the queef. I'm telling you, and then think about it and sit with it without the shame. Okay. And it really feels so fucking good. Should we good. try to record a queef song where we all like our queefs kind of like <laughs> come together to form some sort of Yankee Doodle dandy? <laughs> some sort of stuck a feather in her hat. <laughs> That's what her queef sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. She's quivering. All right, so I do have to tell you something. Three days ago. At 12.05 p.m., I squirted for the first time. I don't believe her. I squirted all, and I caught it like I was squirting. I was like, oh my God. So I can't even imagine what will happen when I know the squirt's coming. I am (sighs) confident in it. We have the tarp down. I need the play-by-play. Yeah, I need to Okay, so I was, okay, so Todd and I were banging, and then he came, and right after he came, I had the, the clit sucker on. Right uh, after he pulled out, squirt came out. So you need a clit sucker. You need. I husband. don't know what you need. This is what the vibe was. Thank you for leaving, Carlos. He doesn't like when girls talk about having sex. <laughs> Will you close he goes, the door? Ew. It's unnatural for women to have sex. <laughs> for women to jizz. But okay, so I realized it's because remember when we were talking about how I co- we cover up when we come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to just be open and just like surrender to it. And I fucking squirted. Like a lot came out and it's not pee. Were you trying to squirt? Like, did it happen on accident? Were it you- was an accident. It was not on purpose. What? I just was trying to go with it and not And what be did like- it feel like? It felt great. Was I feel was like it- I'm missing out. Was he? No. It was sex? And it didn't even require we fucked, the G We fucked with his penis. Yeah. And then <laughs> Never we were making out. He came on my stomach. Yeah. Okay, there was a quick towel to catch it so it didn't drip in and get me pregnant in the grossest, most lame way where it drips from your stomach into the p- <laughs> pussy. I always think about them like, if that's how I get pregnant, a belly button baby, <laughs> I will be so pissed. And then, this is so gross, I'm sorry, you guys are taking it a lot better than my family chat. <laughs> but I wanted to tell everyone I was so excited and I just want you guys to know that anything's possible, you can do it. And I, I'm not sure if the levees have broken, I've been busy and on the road and stuff so we haven't gotten to try again. Look, I feel so inspired, mm-hmm. but also FOMO'd out of my mind. Yeah, I have never squirted in my life. No. You can, you can, you just have to, when you feel yourself coming, just like fully like surrender. Just fully pee on him. <laughs> Push it out. It just doesn't I always feel, feel like, like I'm pee. close though, Annie. I but always feel like warm, I'm close yes. and then nothing comes out. So I yeah. feel like the sensation of like the hotness, especially if like the G spot is stimulated, mm-hmm. but I cannot quite get there. Yeah. So I'm gonna try the clit sucker. And I tried when I went on the road, I brought it with me. And masturbating I couldn't I needed I need okay. tons. I'm gonna wang. need like Did you just picture, say Wayne? Like, yeah, he's Asian, that's what you call it. <laughs> 
Don't be racist. Learn I, your Asian culture. I did not know. My <laughs> husband is not Asian, and I apologize. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. Again, guys, we have so much life left. <laughs> okay. So I feel inspired. I am going to try that combo, and I'll let you know. I'll report back. I'm so desperate to squirt. I'm going to let you I, go guys, next. I, I honestly had to almost okay. like bury it and like let it not be a thing that was ever going to happen. Yeah. But yeah. do you think that it had to do with the fact that you just surrendered and didn't cover up? I do think it did. I think I was like, it was like a push out vibe rather than a hold in. Okay. But so then I did I know what you mean by it. that. Yeah. I want you to try. If you guys both do it, then I will, I'll study this and figure out. It just out. sucks that you bang on the couch. Why? Because <laughs> you're going to squirt on your couch. <laughs> I do this thing that I, like, I feel like I... Couch. I feel like I surrender during sex, but there's one thing I do that I'm kind of sad about, which is I always cover up my breasts ever since I was younger. And I don't know why. Well, I think I know why. I don't like the idea that like from from where he's looking, like my breasts fall to the side a little bit. So and lucky. I and I don't know if I like that look so much. So I always cover my breasts. And it's like the one thing that is like a big barrier for me. Can I just tell you how lucky you are that there's something to fall? All that happens is any meat just goes down and there's just nipples. <laughs> Meat? I have a full, by the way, do I not look post or like I got top surgery in this outfit? <laughs> this is top surgery outfit. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean. It looks like someone I got transitions. Pecs. It looks like I'm getting pecs put on right now. <laughs> I have a pitch for you if that's a, an issue is you should just, if they fall to the side, just have sex in like a sexy push-up bra. I always have sex in a bra. Oh, okay. That's been my problem. Like I want to start having sex without a bra and just say, fuck it. How were they fall? Sex is when I put fall. my bra on. It's the only time <laughs> I'm only wearing my bra. <laughs> yeah, so I need I need help with that. That is the one thing where I'm just like, when you had your big so old much? fake titties, you felt I covered that way them too? up too. I always wore a bra then. Do you too. guys like to come on your tits? Um, they like to come inside my asshole. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Because you keep queefing on them. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ! I guess I'll come in our asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, apparently they I, probably like that because if it's on the menu, everyone goes for yeah. that. That's I, the most, it's the most, it's the delicacy. When it's that's special. available, it's the, it's not? the evening special. When I got a colonoscopy, the doctor showed up asked, do you do anal? <laughs> Shut up. Because I have um, proctitis, which is like inflammation of like that area and stuff. He was like, well, there's two reasons for this. It could be like an autoimmune thing or like how, you know, like your sexual practices. Do, have you ever used a butt plug? Because Never. one of my friends, um, he said that like that's what you do if you're gonna bottom. Like you do a butt plug for like five days before. I didn't know really that. to stretch it. Yeah, which I'm like, is he lying to Wait, me? Wait, butt plugs are like spacers, like the yeah, like people's ears, like oh, the emo that. kids' ears. That's what he said. But then I, I and I'm like, well, I guess that makes sense. What else would they be for? I'm sorry, but that hole is a high traffic area. Yeah, you it goes shit a lot. big shits. It can take a lot. It is meant to be to be take pounded. a lot of, yeah. I, I never have enjoyed that. I don't enjoy it either. I think when I was younger, I just thought that I would somehow be remembered as the girl who was just the freak and let me do anal. And I always like took pride in that. Now I'm just like, no entry. Damn, Please, they God, called me no. anal right. Annie without that. You didn't even have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an attitude. Just, it's an attitude. Yeah, they just really lifestyle. thought they could stick it in your ass. <laughs> I did have a friend. Um, She's a beauty queen, but she likes to be, strictly be fucked in the ass. Mm. It is her thing. I swear to God, like I've seen that girl like fart out a whole Cheeto. Like that's how much. What do you mean by fart out a Cheeto? Like we were on the dance floor once and like, I just think that her ass has just uh, been compromised. How do you know? Because she just, that's her preferred place to receive penetration. Is she and gassy? She is always gassy. I remember we were going salsa dancing and I'm like, why is this dance floor, dance floor smell so bad? And <laughs> You'd think it would be less like <laughs> fart because fart really needs the quiver. The sphincter, oh yeah. Like without the, like if it's a loose asshole, you'd think the fart just whew. I just think that this like girl- You kind of need to be like Well, no, that, I think that makes it like, the, the it can just free flow out all night. It's just diarrhea smelling of, Yeah, air. air. I mean, look, I think the sphincter- But maybe it gets aired out more because the air, good air is going in. Oh, okay. Or maybe it wasn't her There's and I was flow. blaming the wrong person. Maybe her asshole is still frog tight. I don't know, but I all I know is every time I'm, I'm around her, I smell like a cloud. And I have this need to ask is, her, like, if she frog, had anal today. Are frogs the gold standard well, for it's tight watertight, assholes? right? <laughs> what? It's watertight. They're in the. They're amphibious. I don't know about amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and he's so I had confused. I a little NyQuil, guys, and, or DayQuil, and I, I'm not quite sure what. You is it bad to take Adderall with this? I no. feel like yeah. it, it, it is, but <laughs> you know, I think that you're Annie Letterman and let it ride. <laughs> Rock it out. You may know me from bragging about Special K, <laughs> <laughs> snorting Adderall at Taco Bell's. On the road. And being an icon of sobriety since 2009. <laughs> you were in the news. I saw oh, you in the news. And God. people have been asking me about it. You were in the news? No, it's so horrible and stupid. Basically was insinuating that I was sliding into the DMs of a British DJ. Right. Which I didn't even know there was such a thing as a famous British DJ. Honestly. Also, they must not, whoever did this must not know you at all. Like that is not a, a DJ. DJ. You want to give a shit it's about so a DJ? It's so far off from what you'd be into. I, I, yes, it, there's. That's why there was no reason for me to even comment also, on male? it. Also, <laughs> male. Like if it was a female DJ, I would have been like, oh my god, Esther. Like Samantha Ronson or somebody. Oh, like, oh that god. would be good. I'd be like, I believe that's that. juicy. Yeah. And I, what's so fucked up is I called Dave, and I told him about it, and. He didn't believe that the post was about me. I had to convince him <laughs> that it was that they were talking about me. And he's they like, said, they're this not. this doll phase. It literally said doll it's phase. It's going to be a bloodbath. Bloodbath female comedian podcaster. But yeah, no, it was a weird feeling. It definitely gave me anxiety because I. It, it was the first time where like something, someone was talking about me and like I wasn't a part of it. Because uh, like, I'm so sad to tell you, Esther, it's not the first time. <laughs> The minute you leave early, we are trashing you the entire time. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like we do this podcast, we're in control of it. We we tweet our stand up. You do Tiger Belly. It's like, when have you ever like been looking at news and you see someone saying about something about something about you that is so stupid and yeah. not true? And then there's people who believe it and who are messaging me and commenting, and it's like, it was. I felt like freaked out by it, but I obviously also think it's kind of funny and kind of cool. No, I was like, yes, bitch, this you, is so awesome. You really helped me because you said like, this is a good thing and, and Whitney too. They're, like, You guys had like good, like positive girl girl power spins on it of like, no, this is a good thing. Like people are talking about you, but there was a moment where I was like, what the fuck? This well, it's sucks. annoying to be like, have something that's not true and you can't, you're not really able to clear it up. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and I'm never gonna respond to that shit. Like, I don't, I don't care what they say. I'm never engaging. I don't want to, I just don't want to yeah. play that game. I'm never know. responding to anyone that says, can I walk you to your truck? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll never respond to any peach emojis. <laughs> um, What do you guys think of me wanting mm. to possibly get married in a cemetery? I think it's on brand. Yeah, you do look like the chick from The Skeleton. What? From <laughs> the Corpse Bride. Doesn't she look like the Corpse Bride? I can if see it. If the Corpse Bride was going to be live action, you would be playing her. Thank you for casting me. Yeah. Can, <laughs> I think it's a compliment. I there, I just feel like we're not u utilizing cemeteries as beautiful parks as much as we can. I feel like, feel like also could be a, you could get a good value, you know, maybe a good price for it as I'll a I'll make venue. you a deal. Annie and I have to choose the cemetery. Yeah, we have to choose who you're getting married atop. <laughs> and it's going to be. It's not going to be one of your Hollywood cemetery fancy places. That's we get fine. to choose it. Well, wait, now all I want to do is do a, a live show in a cemetery with you guys. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. I, um, She's busy. even though I'm not Catholic, I'm not interested in I'm hanging out with you guys. Not available. <laughs> <laughs> even if I were um, to say, okay, that sounds like a cool idea. Even, and even though I'm not Catholic anymore, I still have that Catholic fear. And I think I'd be taking on um, bad juju if I were to just um, do anything. Why'd you have to bring up the can Jews? I, can I? <laughs> That's true. Can I, are, can I counter, yeah. counter you? I believe that it's actually polite and positive to spend time in the cemetery because if there really are souls there, they're lonely and they would love to have life uh, be a part of their existence. If I saw three old sluts tap dancing around my dad's grave <laughs> for a, on a live stream, you're right, I'd be okay with that. Be oh, It'd be yes! awesome. Yeah. Yeah, like I... I love going to cemeteries. My favorite is Westwood Cemetery. Um, it's that's where Marilyn is. Um, Fair. Why'd Fawcett. you whisper her name? I, you know, I'm just 
just being casual. Um, Truman Capote. There's so many iconic legends and it's such a small cemetery that like you can kind of see everybody. And it's just, to me, it's a beautiful, pleasant park. Whenever I have visitors in town, I take them there. It's like- Are you kidding me? And who are your visitors? They're your parents. Yes. Stop acting like you have other visitors. Who are your visitors? Mom and dad. <laughs> I always take them to the cemetery. Well, I, so full it, of is, shit. it is true. <laughs> well, you're like, you'll be here soon. <laughs> It's um, so rude to take old people to a <laughs> Maybe kids to do the kids think it's fun. They do the crayon rubbings and stuff. I mean, my dad's Adults a like, Dean oh, Martin God. fan. I took him to meet Dean Martin. I think Uh-oh. I think I'm a good kid. He's a Dean Martin fan. I think Carlos is too, if you know what I mean. And same, so is James Kennedy. Oh, so I That's a gay thing. Like I, Dean Martin. Are you calling yourself gay? <laughs> oh no, this oh, is our new God. thing. Yeah. This is our new thing, and she she traps us. Gaslighting. <laughs> Um, I'm so excited about Living Proof. I know. I use it all the time. It's my number one brand. No, I know. I have their shampoo. I have their dry shampoo. The dry shampoo? uh, There's no other dry shampoo I use. It doesn't work. I would, I mean, I go through a canister in a day. I love it. It's so good. And also, like, I, whenever I talk to, like, celebrity hairstylists, they always are using the Living Proof dry shampoo on me. They're like, this is the one. It actually works. It smells good. It's not too strong. I have been using Living Proof for years. It's so good. So imagine really how out. excited. I think Annie is just as excited. I've been using it for years. Yes, so I couldn't good. believe it. They were like, oh, Living Proof. When Bryce told me Living Proof, I was like, shut up. What are the products I always use? Are the dry shampoo and then the perfect hair day shampoo? Yes. Dry the, shampoo. Also the best ones. conditioner. If you have fine hair like me, they have a conditioner that just makes it really like full and fluffy and light and ugh. I'm so happy. I also really like the packaging, like the gray. It's so chic. It just yeah. makes me feel like, oh, I must be like, I must be star, starlet. <laughs> Which I just I have gotten, that? listen, I've gotten dry shampoos before and I know that I'm like pimping out the dry, but I'm telling you their dry shampoo no, is like unmatched. Yeah. I have tried every dry shampoo and it doesn't work. Like I remember thinking, is dry shampoo fake? What is it? Like, should I just use baby powder or something? And then I got Living Proof and I will spend my life on it. I don't care. Same. They could raise their prices. Raise your prices. I love it. Well, let's slow down. Maybe don't raise your prices. It is very affordable. (laughs) I never used to think conditioner mattered. I was like, well, it's just a detangler. It's just this and that. It's the When I go diving, my hair is a matted mess afterwards. (laughs) It's the only conditioner that actually detangles my hair. It's a lifesaver. I highly recommend. You guys... We want you to put science to work and unlock your best hair with Living Proof. Go to livingproof.com slash Tuesday and use code Tuesday to get 10% off your first purchase. That's livingproof.com slash Tuesday, code Tuesday for 10% off your first purchase. livingproof.com slash Tuesday, code Tuesday. And comment below and comment on our Instagram after you get it and tell me how dope that dry shampoo is. You're going to love it, I swear. I am, I... (laughs) Feel you on the cemetery. I spent most of my birthdays growing up in a cemetery. Oh, this is <laughs> been this is part of the abuse I suffered. But um, <laughs> you're like they so November first. Um, <laughs> ghosts raped. November first, similar to like Dia de los Muertos, the Filipinos also celebrate that. So like that whole week of November first, you don't have school. You uh, it's like a Aww. national holiday, but you spend one or two days. Um, you bring booze, you bring food, you bring it to the cemetery over the, what do you call it? The the, the gravestone. Oh. And then you drink and then you party with this. you know the deceased. I love that because oh. it really yeah. is like. Where do we have to do that? We'll do it. I love that so Whoever much. dies first, we're going to party on your yeah. grave. No. Oh, speaking of. who's already gone. <laughs> speaking of the departed, um, do we have an update on our buddy? Um, Here's the thing. I went to his, I, I went to his, his Facebook and stuff and. Unfortunately, his band, his cover band, hadn't taken off too much, so there weren't that many posts about it. Yeah. But there was a memorial on the sixth, and I just couldn't, I couldn't make it. And also, I was thinking about it. He, <laughs> he blocked me. Okay. Oh, he did. He blocked me back in the day, and it's like he, if he didn't want me in life, he doesn't want me in death. And I wanted to respect <laughs> that. I was also tired. I'd flown in that day, but it just like if I show up and I'm like, I'm the finger banker. <laughs> You know, like yeah. what, you know, but I'm, I'm guessing it was a drug situation. I, I don't really know how he died, but I'm also like, I should think I should be okay with not knowing. I not really want to just throw you some respect and compliments that you knew 
that because he had blocked you in life that he wouldn't want you there in He doesn't death? want me in there. Because I feel like everyone has been at a funeral where there is that one person where you're like, they Aiden? shouldn't be here. Yep. And they're mm-hmm. usually very chatty. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they're in a puka shell necklace. <laughs> but I just have, I have a distinct memory at a funeral, our friend Angelo Bowers. And he, there was some guy there who just stole the spotlight. And we were all like, who the fuck is this yeah. guy? Come on, man. So I think you did the right thing. Because, well, I was going to be inquired. Like, I was there to get some intel, too, mm. you know? Like, yes, celebrate the... He was really, like, oh, he was, like, a friendly, cool guy. If you were going for intel, now I think you did the wrong thing. <laughs> I know, but I you, I wasn't going to be able to hang well. It would have been, like, so obvious. I would have my hair extensions in. They'd be like, who is, like, dressing up for Wait, this? Wait, do we know where he's buried, and can we offer him a candle and a Quiznos sandwich? Oh, maybe we should go bring a... That's a great Quiznos. idea. Quiznos. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, I think I can find out. Privately. I can DM someone and just be like, "Hey, this is the situation." Yeah. yeah, I can find out some stuff. I just, I'm always like, I when someone dies, usually like a public figure dies or someone we know dies. I'm always like on that, that like detective hunt to find out how they died, and it's so mm-hmm. fucking disrespectful. It really is like not my business. It, I've had to really stop myself from yeah. doing that because that that is also my first instinct. It's like I cannot just go to bed at night thinking someone has passed. I need to know right. exact details of how they passed, what they were doing, who they were with, who I they chatted with last. There's anything wrong with that? I think it makes sense. But it's disrespectful to inquire, is what Annie is saying. To like, like be like, how, like, how, how did they pass? But how I'm did not they like pass? it's like it's it's not my life. So it's like if the way that they died, if it doesn't like appear to me in front of me, if I'm doing this search, it's like nosy. It's not. It's not but, for any, but I think it's, I think the reason we do that is like a common human like need to want to know. Yes, like that's what I, that's, it's almost like protection, wanting to, to me, know like, what should I not do? Or is there something I can? To me, this is like a good example of how we're all just animals. And it's like, we want to know what happened to the other animals that were like, I always think when I, when, when I'm on a plane and it's turbulent and it feels scary. And you're getting fingered. I'm always like, ow, my cervix. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels scary. <laughs> But you know it's safe because turbulence is totally safe. But the animal in me is like, I don't like how this feels bumping in the air. Like, I think the animal in you is like, what happened to him? Right? Isn't that fair? I think that it's normal to feel that way. But it can be, it can backfire. Because for me, what happens is, how many more cautionary tales do I need to tell myself? Let's say the person died being run over on so-and-so bridge. That's another anxiety and fear I'm implanting in my head. Mm, like, that's a good idea. Where it's yeah. like, or even if he had died of COVID or this and that, like I, I now have, I'm added on to the whole pile of ways to die. And, you know, a that was list a great of fears show. I Do you have. remember that show? Ways, a thousand, like a thousand ways, ways to die, die yeah. Oh. No. I it was that great. Sounds so, it was so funny. So bad for anxiety. <laughs> so good. But um, it was like, I think about like with Bob Saget, where it was like, we didn't know how he died. That was like, What? I think this is a perfect time for a banana break yeah. talking about. Yeah. But also imagine how how painful it already is for his family and then people really just prying into how the specifics of how he died in his autopsy report all and the while they're already feeling this the is, trauma and the pain. This is the bad moment of their life is their death. It's not like, especially when it's shocking like that. Yeah. You're, well, also, you guys are right, but I wouldn't beat yourself up for... Oh, I still find out. Life. Yeah. What I I'll mean, usually do is wait for the one idiot in the comment section to be like, how did he die? And then look for that, for answers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'll go 8,000 comments deep to find that one person be like, wait, what happened? And then someone's, you know, usually gives the answer. And I'm I like, could yeah. not find out. That's why I was like, I'm just going to guess it was like drugs mm. or suicide or something but I'm, he was a nice guy and it was it was nice to kind of like remember how nice he was like looking at people's comments and stuff when i found out my old boss died i was like at johnny rockets no the that one, lady the lady right? I used yeah. to babysit oh, for yeah. i like had to know what happened i just and, and i found in it was yeah she hung herself it was not good mm. All right, I have to bring up a Brody thing, which is I know we don't like to talk <laughs> on that about transition. Brody, you guys, but let's, let's I had bring a psychic, out all suicides. I had a psychic, uh oh, that lived next to me. This girl, and she she was like, she would. It started to get really kind of like creepy. I kind of want to write a horror movie about it. Like she just, it started to be like she'd be like, "Don't walk." There. I'd be like, "I'm gonna go walk to facts and mysteries." Don't walk there. I'm like, what? What? Is anyone get hit by a car? I'm like, shut up. So like things like that. But then she goes, your friend Brody, it was like right around the time when Brody had died. 
And I am guilty of like talking to people, just talking at people, like needing someone to just like be the body next to me that I just talked to. And it always backfires. <laughs> they always come for me. <laughs> I'm just like, talk, talk, talk. And then to something happens. Body. Oh. oh my God, I'm spilling my day quill. Anyway, so she said to me, she's like, your friend Brody has a message. Do you want to hear it? And I go, okay. Can I? This is someone with many catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm like, sure, go. Can I get, was the message, please give Carlos the sweatshirt of me back <laughs> that you ruined? <laughs> the sweatshirt you immediately got makeup on. So what was it? She goes, here's the message. Okay, and this is our friend. Okay, we know how our friend talks. We know his cadence. We know his catchphrases. She goes, he just wants to let you know he loves you. You're such a talent. He wants you to keep going. It's like. Never in a million years would his message be about me. No. It would be about him. <laughs> I was like, take a take a little gander on Google, bitch. There's like so many catchphrases he could have said. I don't know. If she said his catchphrase was eight, he wanted to get you a message eight one eight. I would have been like, oh my god. Yeah. Anyhow, I don't know if you see this red dot on my forehead. It's not a bindi. I'm not culturally appropriating. <laughs> this is. Thank God. I. <sighs> I've had a bump on my forehead that I thought I, in the beginning was a zit. And I was like, I don't know if it's a zit. It's not popping. I go, oh, I got a weird thing. I'm going to have to go to a dermatologist. Avoiding it, avoiding it. Todd the other day goes, let me pop that zit on your forehead. I go, it's not a zit. And he goes, let me just try. And he fucking Dr. Pimple poppered my fucking forehead in a way that like, this man made me squirt out of my pussy and out of my forehead. <laughs> I'm so like grateful for him. I keep looking at him and being like, Thank you. Even I have a scar for the rest of my life. It's like, I can't believe it happened. And then I started watching Dr. Pimple Popper after it because it was so exciting. I was so sure it wasn't a zit. So now I used to not be able to watch it. If you can just sit through a couple of them, you can get through all of them. What is the point of that? Wait, what, what isn't it? the point of that? Yeah. It's joy. You want to have a wedding on top of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Esther, you don't you don't um, enjoy extractions of any kind, like earwax extractions or I get or it ingrowns. I get it. I love I love an ingrown on my body to come out. I love mm. a friend. Ooh, six hairs out of one pore. <laughs> oh wow! Just that'll make me come. When it's the long curly one, you're like, oh my god! Oh my god! And then more and more come out. But even hearing the stories on Doctor Pimple Popper, I'm like, that thing could have turned into a horn. It could. But <laughs> people do have horns. What? Yeah. Yeah, a horns are a real thing. No, they're not. What? People can't get horns. They're called horns, actually. Feel they're... I have a horn. Feel this. Yeah. Oh, I have a bump. They she said it's just like calcium deposit. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Extra look brain. Look how grossed out she is. <laughs> Extra brain. Look at her. She's like, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Kyla, what did you feel on her look, head? People have it's horns. How? Ew. Uh, sorry, sorry. No. Yeah. I don't know if this is real. Those are real. What is causing that? A lot of things. I mean, have you ever heard of stone babies? No. No. Oh, God. You're going to have a good time. Pull them up, Carlos. Stone babies. It doesn't babies. sound like it. Stone babies Sounds are- similar to an experience Esther had recently. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> are usually babies that go undetected. Like, for instance, a woman is pregnant, but she doesn't know she's pregnant. It either becomes an ectopic pregnancy, but over time, instead of delivering the baby, her body just rejects it and it- it um, it um Comes out her skin? No, it surrounds, like it becomes a calcium deposit and it becomes this stone baby that they have this is my inside baby of them for up like. Here. Yeah, that's your stone baby. Now, I had been saying a while ago I wanted to talk about the movie Old. Oh, God, I watched Did it. Did you watch it? Isn't it so upsetting? It's upsetting because I just found it to be such a. You could clearly tell it was shot during COVID, like peak COVID. Mm. Premise wise, it was really good. I just hated the movie besides that. It didn't bring me any yeah. positive. Explain to feelings. Esther what yeah, the... Okay, so spoiler, if you guys haven't seen the M. Night Shyamalan movie, it's like this island that people go to and they something with the magnetic forces or something makes them age like their whole lives in one day. So, no. yeah, so like the, you know, they some guy went with his mom, his mom died almost immediately. Then everyone just aging rapidly and it's just so... It just made me feel so much. Why? What did it make well, you feel? Well, just the whole point was like, 
it would be like, you know, this couple came on the island and they were fighting and then mm-hmm. it's like they grow old with their kids grow up and their kids are sitting next to them and they're just like, what were we fighting about? Like the whole, it's like a little on the nose, but oh. it just was really. I thought that it could have been a really good movie. Just like the premise of it was kind of cool, but it just was just fucking weird. What would make people want to go to that island? No, they were they bamboozled to enter because it, it became like the scientific, it was a... It was uh, like an experimental yeah. site, right? Yeah. Um, and they would bring people that had like an ailment. They were just seeing if they could cure the, the, if they could cure them, yeah, of their diseases and so stuff. In, in theory, interesting, just poor execution. It was just really. Esther, have you ever heard of a teratoma? It's speaking of stone babies. Yes. What is that? It's basically like an That's evil no, twin living inside you. <laughs> A slow yes is a no. I've heard the word, okay? That's and that Pterodactyl counts, is what and you, that you've counts heard. for something. Terracotta. There's a lot of things that sound but okay. it's, I like to call it like an evil twin living inside of you. And that might be, Annie, your third. Mm, your th- you had a triplet. A triplet. And that's and what this is? This is so, it's, it's like a tumor with teeth. Right, it could be like I'm. It could almost be like look like a formed human, but just very small and kind of just living in you, like a. But there's a whole movie around this. It's called I don't want another spoiler alert, but it's called Malignant. Um, but who's better than it? old, huh? Who's in it? God, who's in Malignant? I forget. But please watch that movie if you're into Teratomas. <laughs> is all I'll say. Is it because the kid, the other baby's territorial? Well, like I don't want to give it Wait, away. Is but- is it possible that Annie is a teratoma? <laughs> is that why you keep bringing it up? <laughs> if she has a teratoma on it's her bigger head. Than, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> Esther, you would be the size of a teratoma. Oh, you thank, are little. thank you so much. Everyone is always like, how tall is Esther when I meet them? And it's like, I don't even know how to explain it because... I'm shocked every time I see you. We should just tell people the size of a stone baby. Well, sometimes it's the same size as a stone baby. <laughs> Guys, we gotta go to Vegas. Incredible we gotta place. go to Vegas. <laughs> I need our show in Vegas. What would we do? It. What Kyla, what would we do in Vegas? Is there like Oh a... God, we're leaving it up to me again. No, 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 no. We're not leaving it up to okay. you ever again. That's um, never happening. Let me that see. That was not okay. I'm leaving it up to Kyla. No. <laughs> I think you your idea of just doing shows and eating nice things and gambling. Annie likes to gamble. I think that's fun. Could we like get a, a, like a nice suite yes. in Vegas and just like get high and i don't know just yeah. see what see where the mood takes us i think we just remember there the tensions may get high but we like that we want to remember <laughs> that's good content but also we don't want to shy away from it we don't need self-care on this trip oh my god pain, oh my god that's terrifying go in it and then we take a couple weeks off my hands are already sweating thinking but what about if we that. but what if we did like we did it when we had already banked a bunch so we knew we could get some time off so it could be like an intense a goodbye day <laughs> it's a it's planned so that we don't speak for a month yes after. yes we'll i think to decompress <laughs> i think if we do like three days which i think is so long that's in so vegas. long in vegas so, but i think we should dedicate months. an esther day and annie day and a kalila day so it's like one day we do everything you want to do esther the shows like we want to see save Gaga, up your you money do... for annie day <laughs> <laughs> save your cash for annie day because we're gambling all day baby i'm gonna start smoking again <laughs> yeah so let's do that and so there's no confusion and then we just part ways and then take a month we just take a month off <laughs> okay i want to i want to know what are some things for that you guys would want to do on each of your days because i know mine is so easy i would want to see a concert i would want to eat a really nice sushi dinner and i definitely would want the concert to be in the same venue where we're sleeping and walk 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 get your exercise in go mm-hmm. to a couple sephoras there's like four on the strip and then we all like take an edible and we stay up all night and just have fun chatting um, a Kalila day would be uh, we'd go to Red the Red Rocks. We'd oh, go on a couple nice hikes. Love it. We'd go look for petrified wood, Ooh, highly valuable. You can sell baby. them or a stone baby. Oh, God. Um, we'd maybe go to bring the speculum. Um, we'd maybe go to see the Colorado River on a boat, um, and maybe Why Lake maybe? Mead. Because you don't want to get um, you don't want to because be I I have a feeling Esther might be like I don't want to be on a boat. I get seasick. 
and it's you not even definitely get seasick. I definitely do, but for Kalila Day, we'll we'll get Dramamine and we'll prepare. I'll also have make sure that the boat has like coverage so you don't get like a sunburn or anything okay. like that. Okay. Um, so more of that stuff is what I like. Annie. I love that. And then we're going to be in a fucking smoke-filled casino no. all day. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. We're eating the edibles in the morning. We're, ah! not, we're not waiting till the night, <laughs> yeah. okay? We're going to be fucked up all day. If you guys want to drink, drink. Like anything you want to do, we're doing it in excess. Okay. 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 I can I can hang with that. Yeah. The, the, uh, party Vegas Kalila is... I want to meet your friends too. Wait, yeah, I forgot you, about my day. It has to be we have to have a strip club on my day. Okay, we, we can have we a strip, strip club every club, night. Yes. You know what? Every night. That's just part of my day, your day, okay, your day. All I'm gonna say is we're 0 for 20 at this point. <laughs> yeah. But the amount of times we mentioned going to a strip club has never happened. Kalila and Carlos went once. We did, but then Oh, we, you didn't get in? We yeah, we couldn't get in for Why? Uh, certain reasons. We can't say it on the show. Carlos yeah. wouldn't take his hat off. <laughs> <laughs> But we were so close, Carlos. We could we could smell the pussy, <laughs> the great smell the baby, the baby oil and pussy. Yeah, no, the, the I always what my reminds me of strippers is that like sweet. Well, I can't remember. There's like a dessert smelling. I know what you're talking it's about. It's pink. It's they sell it at Sephora. Yeah. Is it Escada? No, it's no. Cheaper Whitney than that. had it too. She yeah, pink sugar, something like that. Yeah. Now, okay, wait. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the buffet and get crab legs. I'm down crab for that. Legs. Oh buffet God, every day. Yeah. Buffet is like heaven. I mean, I'm not against a Cirque du Soleil. I always like to watch to see if maybe someone will fall, but um, I don't know. Like, yeah, it'll be late night. I want to go on that. The Ferris wheel mm -hmm. with New York, New York. The Ferris wheel or the roller coaster. They New have York, the New Ferris. York. The Ferris wheel is the one outside. You get a cupcake from the. They have the, the cupcake sprinkles. Oh yes, the ATM. ATM. And the ATM. can we take yeah. ecstasy on your day? Um yeah, but we have to make sure our gambling's through. Okay. Because you don't want to distract yourself from the most okay. fun thing in the world. Oh, are we gonna do slot machines? For yes, you? bitch. We're gonna do blackjack, <laughs> slot machines, and roulette. Is there anything better than the thought of us three in Vegas? It's so fun. We're elderly-ish too. We'll can wear I, like visors. Can I propose something to you? Can we go um, sort of closer to the summer, like between the cusp of spring and summer, because there's just way hotter guys there. Sure. Yeah. So we'll, also we should get hall passes. Oh my yeah. God, Annie. <laughs> Todd Wait, will never give me one. Hall then. passes. I I use mine on you too. <laughs> <laughs> Hers doesn't leave the hotel room. <laughs> What's um is there a Bobo update? Um he's home. Oh good. And um he's you know he's doing better. Good. Yeah. Off, off okay. camera, yeah. Um well, ladies, it has been a lovely time. See you guys next week. We'll see you next week. Thank you guys. And um, subscribe, please baby. Let us know if you have ideas for our Vegas trip. Let us know. What else did we talk about today? <laughs> Look, listen, here's what we learned Queefs feel good. Yes. yes. Squirting is possible. Guys, at any you can squirt. age. Try, you too try. can squirt. I'm going to try so hard this week. I think you can do it. You have to release. It's the less trying. It's like the. I think I need you in my ear. Yeah. So I'll be when I'm ear. close to coming, I'm just going to you're going to have to be you. the one manually doing it. <laughs> Look, if it's gotta be me, it's gotta be me. <laughs> get me there, baby, get me there. You guys, we're trying to get to 200K subscribers and you better fucking get us there or Annie's gonna beat me up. I'm gonna beat the shit out of her. Please like this video, comment, subscribe. We love you and we will see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>